surprised are you or Chuck? What's the feeling right now? Um, I'm still surprised. You know, uh, wasn't expecting this at all. You know, Coach Miles is a great coach. You know, done a lot of great things for this program. And, you know, I was expecting to come here, you know, talk about the things we're going to change about the offense and different things we're going to do coming up in the next week. But I wasn't expecting, wasn't expecting all of this. What about losing Coach Cam? Uh, that, that's very shocking, too. You know, he put in a lot of things this week. You know, we had a great week of preparation. You know, he, he called a great game. You know, we, we still had a chance to win. So that's not something that was on my mind on my way over here. You know, I'm, I'm shocked about both of them. So your teammates said it, was, it seemed like a normal ride home last night. That was, was that the sense you got? Uh, I wouldn't say normal, you know, knowing that we had a chance to win the game. You know, knowing that we just about won it with, with DJ catching that ball. So it wasn't normal. You know, I was... I was a little more hurt than normal, you know. A loss is a loss, you know. You always hurt, but I was, you know, I was a little more hurt because of how it happened. You know, we celebrated and then it got called back. So I wouldn't say normal. It's, people love, people seem to love Coach Miles as a person and his personality and the things he brought to you guys. How much are you gonna miss? Uh, he's he's very different. You know, he's a different guy. You know, he has a different sense of humor. He has he has a different way of going about doing things. You know, so I'm gonna miss that about him. You know, he does a. He did, he did a lot of great things, you know, and he, he brought out the best in all of us. You know, he, he was a player's coach. You know, he, he, he taught me a lot of things on, on my journey being here. You know, I experienced a lot of things with him, and, you know, I'm going to miss him. You know, everybody's going to miss him. You know, the whole program, you know, the whole state of Louisiana, all LSU fans, we're going to miss him. You know, but looking forward, you know, it's, it's, it's time to move on. What's your impression of Coach Joe? Um, he's very energetic, you know. You know, I might have had a couple conversations with him, you know, throughout practice, but never really got to know him. But from what I've seen and what I've heard from the D-line, you know, he, he's very energetic. You know, he has a lot of energy. He's always, he's always, you know, ready to go. You know, he knows a lot about football. He's been in this position before, so I'm expecting him to have success. What did you say in the meeting to y'all? We heard he maybe brought a rope of some kind. Yeah, he kind of used the rope, the rope thing, you know, Everyone pulling in different directions, you know, it's not going to work. You know, we have to come together as a team and, you know, all be going in the same direction. Do you think there was some pulling in different directions the first month of the season? <clears throat> um, Definitely. You know, a couple of us, you know, might have been looking on to the NFL. You know, a couple of us might have just been worrying about stats and, you know, you know, and that kind of hurt us. You know, it, it showed, you know, a couple of guys missed assignments, you know, tried to do too much. But <clears throat> looking forward, I think, you know, I think, I think we have a new – a new outlook on things, you know, and I think I think the program is going to move forward. What, I think. Can, what can fans expect from a Steve Insminger coached offense? Uh, he's a, coach, coach Steve is a, is a great guy, you know. Every time I talk to him, he has nothing but positive things to say. You know, he's been around for a long time. He he's had success playing quarterback, so he knows he knows what to do and and you know plays to call and you know things to do and you know to put us in the right situations and. You know, I, I I expect a lot of great things out of out of Coach Insminger. You know, I, I like him personally. You know, I've been trying to you know beat his record for the longest passing touchdown <laughs> in the SEC history. So I think we I think we're going to do a lot of great things with Coach Coach Insminger as office coordinator. Draven, you have eight games left. That's a lot of football. What, what do you want to accomplish? Honestly, I just want to go undefeated in these last eight games. You know, but looking forward, I hope this team does a lot of great things. You know, offense, defensively. Special teams, you know. I hope we just come together and play as one. You know, I just I, I don't like losing. Nobody likes losing, so you know. I hope we put it together and get a couple wins. You understand? A lot of fans are wondering how much heart this team is going to have left. You think it's going to have a lot of heart moving forward? I think so. You know, a lot of guys have a lot of pride. You know, and being that you know we lost the coach, we don't want to you know be that team. You know, lost the coach and then lost a bunch of games after. You know, I think we want to you know get this program turned around and you know finish the season with, with some wins. Trevor, to clarify, y'all got some kind of mass text message, I guess, to be here at five or whatever time. Yeah. And uh, you thought it was just to talk about that. Yeah, I, I just thought, you know, maybe, you know, we'd be coming in and, you know, talking about things that were, were going to change with the offense, you know, something that, you know, we we're going to do differently. I thought we might have been coming in to watch the film early. That way, you know, tomorrow we can, you know, have a, a full day of practice, you know, a bunch of walkthroughs. You know, I wasn't expecting anyone to be, you know, fired or whatnot. You know, I saw – you know, a couple of things on Twitter and, you know, I was watching a football game and it popped up, but, you know, it still hadn't crossed my mind that, you know, someone is actually getting fired. You know, I just thought it might have been rumors. What game are you watching? Um, Steelers. Steelers and the Eagles. I was watching Steelers and the Eagles and on a commercial it popped up. So, I mean, 
I just thought it might have been rumors. You know, I was never expecting Coach Miles to get fired. You know, he has a he has a great legacy here, and and I was never expecting that. You saw it on TV. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah, it was on it was on it was on Breaking TV. Or something? There was a uh, on a commercial. Oh, uh, might have been WAFB. Oh. I'm not I'm oh, not too okay. sure. What is Raven? When you when people ask you about playing for Coach Miles one day, what one story or what one memory will you tell about? Um. <laughs> Uh, honestly, it, there's a bunch, but what what can never leave my mind is, you know, he could have never pronounced DJ Chuck's name. You know, he always <laughs> called him CJ. You know, so <laughs> you know, every time he made a he made a great play, he was like, there you go, CJ. And you know, that's something we joke about all the time. It's something you know we we kind of laugh about. You know, we used to laugh about with Coach Miles. You know, he kind of you know every time now he would call DJ. You know, he would make a make a joke saying CJ and then call him by his real name. So that's something you know that's something I I always remember. When when the rumors and the speculation became reality, what, what was that initial moment like for you and, and some of your teammates? Shocking, honestly, uh, uh, shocking. You know, when he came in and gave his speech, you know, it, it touched me. You know, you could hear it. You could feel the pain in his voice. You can hear it. You know, he almost broke down. And you, know, you can tell he loves this program. He loves the school. He loves it. Every one of us. You know, he he's a player's coach. If anybody tells you different. You know, I don't, I don't know what their experience was with him. I have nothing but great memories with him. You know, everyone has great memories with him. I can't, you know, say the last time I've honestly seen him, you know, fussing at someone in practice. You know, he was, he was never that guy. And honestly, when, when, the, when it came true in here, it was, it was shocking. You, you could have seen it on everyone's faces that they were shocked just as well as me. Have you gotten to Last speak question. to him individually? Uh, I have not, you know, uh, after he spoke. You know, he walked out and then Coach O took over. Can you even imagine turning the page at this point in time? I, I couldn't, you know, honestly. I, I couldn't, I couldn't. You know, Saturdays aren't going to be the same, you know, not seeing less miles on, on the sideline.